Okay guys, now the same example, the only thing, the only difference is that the values of C's are different. All right, so C is either 1.5 or 3. For simplicity, I'm going to assume that both of them are equally likely. So one half probability is 1.5, one half probability is 3. All right, um, but the, the, the rest is, as I said, the game payoff is the same, uh, just the C, the value of C is different. Well, why that matters? Well, because you'll see the player two, if I draw this uh, thing again, so he's going to assume, well, if, I'm sorry, if C is equal to 1.5, he knows that this is the game where the payoffs are 1.5 comma minus 1, 2, 1, 3, 0, and this is 3.5, uh, oh, this is 5 minus C, what? Sorry, I forgot that payoff. Uh, it is zero, okay, zero. Um, that one is zero. And if the value of C is equal to three, well, then the game is going to be uh, this, where it's gonna be zero minus one, two, zero, three, zero, two, one. All right, again, fight, don't fight, uh, enter, don't enter, fight, don't fight, enter, don't enter. All right, so here in the previous version, we knew, which is this case, we knew that don't fight is strictly dominating fight, so player one will never play this. Player, player one of this type is going to play don't fight. Here, however, we no longer have a dominant strategy for player one. Do not look dominant. Well, I mean, here there is no dominant strategy for player two either. But even if there was a dominant strategy for player two, it wouldn't mean that you can ignore that strategy. All right. So again, I'm going to come back to this. But let's suppose this was plus one instead of minus one, which would mean in this game, one is better than zero, one is better than zero. So that means enter is better than don't enter. So does that mean that player two is not going to play don't enter in this game? Well, you cannot say this. Why? Well, because player two chooses enter, don't enter. But the thing is, when she chooses enter, all right, she isn't sure whether this is the payoff she should be considering or this is the payoff she should be considering. So yes, maybe uh, this is one, this is one, but here, if, by the way, F, uh, don't, don't erase F for, for this uh, argumentation, because remember, a strictly dominant strategy means whatever my opponent does, it should be giving me a strictly higher payoff. So here, however, the entry means minus one or one. All right, so therefore it's not always better than don't enter. All right, so once again, the strict domination, I can do it for player one because player one knows the metrics, but player two doesn't know the metrics. And so you cannot simply compare two columns for player two and conclude, you know, one strategy is strictly dominant uh, or dominated. All right. All right, let's come back to this case where his payoff, uh, player two's payoff was minus one here. So here there's no strict domination. So therefore, in any Bayesian-Nash equilibrium, in any Bayesian-Nash equilibrium, the strategy profile should be, remember, strategy profile for player one, if uh, C is equal to 1.5, strategy profile for po uh, player one, if C is equal to 30, and then strategy, uh, strategy for player two. So this is what strategy profile will look like. We already know that in this scenario where cost is equal to, or C is equal to three, player one is gonna play don't fight, all right? So we can fix this. In any Bayesian Nash equilibrium, player one is going to play DF. All right, when C is equal to three. However, when C is equal to 1.5, well, what player one would like to play, in fact, depends on what player two is going to play, all right? Well, obviously, there are two scenarios uh, we should uh, consider because there are two actions player one has. So case one, I'm gonna call it, uh, uh, S1 
1.5, meaning the strategy here that player one follows is 1.5. Is there any base in Nash equilibrium where player one plays 1.5? I'm sorry, what am I talking about? Uh, fight. Right? Is there any base in Nash equilibrium where player one plays fight here and don't fight here? Right? Don't forget, I assume the probabilities are one health, one health. Well, okay, so here we first, because I assumed S1, uh, the player one strategy is going to be fight here, I should be looking at the best response of player two and then check if this strategy is going to be best response for player one. If it is not, well, then that means there is no such Bayesian Nash equilibrium. Okay, so uh, what is expected utility or expected payoff of player two given that player one plays fight, don't fight, fight here, don't fight here, and then player two plays enter. Remember, she has or he has only two actions, so I need to calculate his expected payoff of playing E, his expected payoff of playing don't E, and I need to compare these two to see which action is, is more, is, is optimal. So, all right, so if he plays enter, he knows that in this game, his opponent is playing fight, so therefore his payoff will be minus one. So it's gonna be minus one with probability one health, because this is the one health probability event. This one is also one health probability event. Plus, when he enters, uh, when he plays E, in this game, his opponent is playing DF, so he's gonna get one with probability one health. So the expected utility is gonna be zero. What is the second player's expected payoff, once again, if he plays don't enter again instead? Well, if he plays don't enter, because his opponent is playing fight here, he's gonna get zero times one half probability. And again, if he plays don't enter, it's gonna be zero, so zero times one half. So it's zero. Huh, so what does that mean? That means both F, oh, I'm sorry, F is not a strategy for player two. Both E and DE are best response for player um, two. Huh, what does that mean? That means I couldn't eliminate any strategy of player two, all right? So that means I actually created two more cases. So I'm gonna call them subcase one and then subcase two. Subcase one is that S2 is equal to enter. So we know that enter is a best response to player one playing fight here and player one playing don't fight here. All right, the question is asked, that I'm asking is playing fight here a best response? Uh, given that player two is playing enter. Then later I'm going to look at subcase two. Let's write that. Subcase two, where player two is playing don't enter. I know that that's the best response to player one is playing fight here and don't fight here. The question I should be asking is playing uh, fight best response to don't enter. Well, here we are not arguing about the best responseness of don't fight in this part of the game because we already know it is strictly dominated, dominating strategy and therefore player one will always play DF in this part of the game, all right? So, um, so S2 is E, question is, is S1 1.5 equals F a best response? Well, how can I uh, make sure that? Well, simple. Uh, well, I better do it uh, somewhere here because it's going to be uh, cramped. So here I'm going to calculate expected utility of player one when he plays F, when his opponent is playing enter, uh, I'm sorry, uh, his, the, the, the second type is playing don't fight, and then his opponent is playing enter. All right, I'm gonna calculate this expected payoff, and then I'm going to calculate what if, instead of playing F, he choose to play DF. We already know he's gonna play DF in this game. And, well, don't forget his opponent, we are in subcase one, all right, guys? 
So sub k is 1, so that means S2 is equal to E. So this is why we fix this E, and DF is already fixed, so therefore we are again verifying if f is the best response or not so in order to understand whether f is the best response i need to see f is giving at least as high payoff as df right so what is the expected payoff here well i mean simple this is not really an expected payoff because for player one he knows that this is the game all right so he knows remember here we're talking about uh player one type c equals 1.5 so he knows that this is the game so there's going to be no probability one half one half okay so uh, be careful so what is the expected utility or payoff of player one if he plays f and you know the second guys what he, what the heck he plays doesn't matter because this is the game and player one, uh, player two, I'm sorry, is playing enter. Well, obvious, isn't it? It's 1.5. Good. What about expected utility of player one if he plays DF instead? Well, it's two. So therefore, player one of type uh, C equals 1.5 uh, prefers to play DF if S2 is equal to E. Hence, there is no uh, Bayesian-Nash equilibrium of this game, Bayesian-Nash equilibrium of this game, where uh, the strategy profile is the following, F, uh, DF, and E. All right, so this is not Bayesian-Nash equilibrium. Uh, this is the end of subcase one. What about subcase two? Well, what if S2 is equal to DE? Or the question is, is F DE of DF, I'm sorry, um, DE, this looks like O, a Bayesian Nash equilibrium. Right. So here, the question we ask is, uh, F, D, F, D, E, uh, Bayesian Nash equilibrium. That was the question we asked, and we concluded, no, it is not. Why? Because player one is going to uh, deviate. Well, here, what we do is, well, we ask this question. Is it possible that player two plays D, E, player one plays F, player one of type C equals three plays D, F? Can this be a Bayesian Nash equilibrium? Well, I'm going to look at player one's expected payoff again. Why player one only? Well, because remember, given DF and F, player two already best responds by playing DE. This is what we show here. Uh, both E and DE are best response for player two, given that player one plays F here and DF here. So therefore, player two is best responding. Player one of type C equals three is already best responding because it's the dominant strategy. So therefore, the only thing I need to do or verify is F is a best response for player one. All right, so that's the only thing I need to verify. So expected utility of player one, if he plays F is, what is it? If he plays F and then his opponent is playing DE, it's 3.5. His expected utility, however, if he plays don't fight instead, given fixing the other's strategies, right? I'm fixing the other strategies. It is three. Hence, F is a best response for player, uh, player one of type C equals 1.5. Hence, uh, F, D, F, D, E, is a Bayesian Nash equilibrium. So I found one Bayesian Nash equilibrium. Is that it? Uh, I mean, can I say this is the only Bayesian Nash equilibrium? Well, remember, I had case one where player one of type 1.5 1, uh, playing F here. But there's also another case, case two, where player one uh, of, of this type is playing DF, don't fight. 
can we find a Bayesian Nash equilibrium in this case? So if we can, that means there's going to be two Bayesian Nash equilibrium at least. All right. So let's check that. And that's going to be the end of our analysis. So case two, S11.5 is don't fight. All right. Once again, I'm going to calculate expected payoff of player two. But don't forget, I'm assuming that player two and player one is playing don't fight in both games. So if this is the case, obviously those numbers will change. Let's calculate them. So if I play as player two, if I play E and my opponent is playing DF here, what my payoff is one. So one times one half plus. However, if I play E and this is the game, my opponent is playing DF, I'm going to get another one. So therefore my payoff, my expected payoff is one. However, if I play don't enter, remember, I'm going to get zero. So what does that mean? That means only E is a best response for player two. So therefore I don't need any subcase in this case. All right. So what did I show? I showed the following. Uh, S1 equals DF. If this is the case, all right, then for player two, the best response is E. So question is, the next question, I'm not done yet with case two, is this profile, strategy profile, Bayesian Nash equilibrium? Well, Remember, DF is always a best response for player one of type C equals three. E is, I just show that E is a best response to player one's uh, strategies. And now, therefore, the only thing that I need to check is whether DF for player one of this type, a best response or not. How do I check this? Well, what is expected utility of player one under DF? given that others are playing according to this strategy and then expected payoff of him if he instead fights fixing the other's strategies. So given that player one, player two is playing enter here, uh, don't fight is going to give him two payoff and fight is going to give him 1.5 payoff. So you know what? In this case, DF is the best. So therefore here, DF is a best response for player one of type C equals 1.5. Well, obviously, don't forget, when I say DF is a best response for player one, DF is a best response for player one if player two plays E and player one of type C equals three plays DF, although this really doesn't play any crucial role here. Uh, because uh, player one's payoff doesn't depend on his other types strategy, all right? So it only depends only on player two's strategy. So therefore, DF is the best response for player one, given that player two is playing E. Hence, this is, is this a Bayesian Nash equilibrium? Yes, it is a Bayesian Nash equilibrium. So what does that mean? That means we had two cases, exhaustive cases. Under case one, I found one Bayesian Nash equilibrium, F, D, F, D, E. So he's going to play F here, he's going to play D, F here, and player two is going to play uh, D, E. All right, what does that mean? That means player two is going to get zero payoff regardless of uh, what game is realized. Another Bayesian Nash equilibrium is D, F here, D, F here, and player one plays E. All right, and so player two gets payoff of one. So both of those are Nash equilibrium. Uh, we call them Bayesian Nash equilibrium, all right? Uh, but so both of these strategy profiles are Bayesian Nash equilibrium of this game, all right?